It's World of Fest time at Chessington World of Adventures. We are back here for a new event and we enjoyed World of Fest last year. And of course, with this World of Fest will become an all new stage show on the main stage over there. Very similar to last year, I believe, with the voting. However, we've got some new acts. Kurt, who are they? That's a good question. Snoop Frog? Skunk 182? Yeah. Uh, I do like the... Uh, I do like the... Uh, I do like the planning that Chesham's have put into this. The little puns they used last year have been reinvented for this year with some all new acts and we can't wait to see it. So yeah, join us in this vlog. We're going to show you around the World of Fest festivities. We're going on some rides, but we'll probably just show you what's going on for World of Fest. We can't wait, we can't wait. As you know, the shows at Chesham, we think, are the best in the country. Ah, not long, not long. First show, or side show, starts in just 20 minutes. Unbelievable. All day entertainment if you're coming here. It is the adventure stage right here in Adventure Point. It's really, really loud to be fair. Snoop Frog are on here with the Croc and Rollers, uh, the Groupie Troop, and DJ Sharky, who was last year's winner. You remember DJ Sharky? I remember DJ Sharky. They were also set up at the entrance, so we'll be back there. here. So we're going to head down to the fields now, to the fields, I believe, is where all the festivities start this year. The park has some lovely decoration scattered around. We'll capture that today. And it does sound like we have a Wilderfest soundtrack as well, which also sounds really, really good. Now, most of the festivities are around the corner here. Around the corner we go. Now, of course, most of them are around here because last year they were held on the green, where at the moment they appear to be building some kind of roller coaster. First I've heard of it, but <laughs> Most of it is happening here. Look at this, look. I have to say, this green is generally unutilized. I was a bit surprised they weren't using any food outlets in the um, where they did the uh, Muddy Grub Avenue food last time. I'm a bit surprised that uh, it's all here, but I tell you, this looks really cool. So again, the recently refurbished um, animal area. Show's actually on soon, to be fair. And we've got posh dogs over there. Of course, these aren't part of Merlin's. You won't be able to use your discount on these. Little stage show here. So this is where Skunk 182 are going to be, as well as the uh, Juggler at one o'clock. So we got a lot to catch today. There's a lot of entertainment on which we need to catch. Ice cream and donuts are back there. You've got pizza here as well. Oh, what's that little, what's a little tent? I like a little tent. Piglet. Oh. Oh, as long as, I mean, if they do, a, they do like rolls and things, we could be in trouble. Oh, no, no, it's a, is that donuts? Piglet's Pantry. Oh, it's sweets, Kurt. Sweets, Cody. That or Ben and Jerry's? Ben and Jerry's, obviously. Whoa. Whoa, look at this. These are lovely bits of decoration they've added for this year. There is some lovely decoration here, and we are also going to check out, to be fair, because we weren't really going to check out a lot more than Wilderfest, the penguin enclosure just over there shortly, which has been completely refurbished and reopened since we were last at the park. Next big event, though, is our favourite of the year. Cocomelon and JJ meet and greet is on at the show here. You know it is. You know it is. We have to part with this. I haven't got a clue who Cocomelon is. But I'm telling you now, for an early show, really popular. Really, really popular. And here is the entrance, of course, with the World of Fest sign and Gardner. Everyone likes a good gardener. 
It's good to see it maintaining. Nah, it looks cool, doesn't it? It looks really cool. The penguins are back home in the little area. They're quite a lot of them, actually, isn't they? Yeah. Quite a lot of penguins. We've had some new paint go. We've got some new uh, work done around the back. Of course, they have replaced the glass over there. It's a bit of a funky design over it. It's a bit taller, actually. You can get a bit closer. It was a bit lower before. It doesn't look too dissimilar to what it looked like. Just very slightly refreshed and uh, re-maintenance, shall we say. That word? No, I don't know. We've had lots of words that aren't words today, so I'm going to use it. Re-maintenanced. A few trees here would be nice, I'm pretty sure. There are some plant pots. Yeah, there. I'm pretty sure uh, it's, it's not quite finished yet, but it's good to see the penguins back home over there. And there they are enjoying their wilder fest. These on the lamppost, these are brilliant, these are. Even with the goblin behind, love that. We have some food for wilder fest as well, which is that pizza slice, this New Orleans hot dog which is available in the smokehouse. The other one's available in the pizza and pasta. That's like a pork belly with pickled vegetables. That looks incredible. Kurt is not eating it, but it looks incredible. And then over here, there's some uh, hummus, Kurt. You're not eating that either. To be fair, I'm not eating the hummus. But it's great to see when these events come out. Look at that, look. They are doing different things, and that's available from the hot potatoes and hot dogs. Obviously, if there is any more available around the park, we will let you know. The groupies have arrived for the first flash mob of the day. This would be great fun, there. Another one for dropping chicken is the red hot chili chicken. Yeah. It looks incredible, doesn't it? It looks quite You're not going to eat it, are you? No, no, I can't. I think it. it looks incredible. And that's now all the major restaurants actually seem to be having one. It'd be interesting to see when we get down the bottom whether Burger King's got one, Burger King, Burger Kitchen's got one, uh, or indeed whether or not Loaded Fries has got one, because they did have one for the last event, but never opened. Never opened. No stages around here this time. We're just having a little look around the park now to see what other entertainment and stages are indeed on. Here we are up at the jungle bus. Now, we did say at the beginning of the year, Kurt, that it wouldn't be shut all year. We said it, we didn't think it would be closed for the year. In fact, we knew it wouldn't be closed for the year. We knew they got another one coming in. Of course, it is a new one, the last one. Reached the end of its service life, to be honest with you. That's the reason why it's not here. Happens with everything, cars, I'm sure home electricals, same happens with rides. No matter how much you maintain them, they get to a point where they reach the end of their life. And that's what Jungle Bus did. And we knew the park were getting another one in there, so we expect that there very, very soon. As you can see, work has started on it. Um, and yeah, it'd be great, because usually this area is open for the Christmas event, which would mean that would likely be open for that as well. Now, we know Wilderfest stages out and about uh, around here, so we've walked around the rest of the park. We weren't really sure where they were, to be honest with you, but most of it is contained down the bottom end of the park, which is absolutely fine with us. The green is really well laid out. The Adventure Point stage is really loud. The sound system they put in there is probably the best I've seen on one of the portable stages. So we've got a few acts we want to catch today. We're going to show you some clips of the main show. That will also be on the channel as a separate upload. And of course, if you're interested, we will be doing an update from Project Amazon over the back as well, but on for the entertainment. Now, it definitely would have helped if we'd have looked out the map first and we could see exactly where all the stages are. They are kind of where we thought they are, uh, which is down by the entrance where the festival field and a little festival stage, which is on there. You've then got the mini stage here and of course the main stage with the adventure stage as well. So yes, Yes, we know where we're going. We know what we've got to check out today. And that's exactly what we're heading down now to see Snoop Frog, I think. Or is it Lioness Ritchie? Lioness Ritchie. I think it's Lioness Ritchie we're checking out next. Clever, clever play on words, God. 
Do you know who uh, Lionel Rich is? No. Oh, go to... oh my life. We're starting off with Cocomelon. No. No, we're not. So Lioness Richie is down on the mini stage. We completely missed that when we were looking, to be fair. So we are down here to see a little bit of Lioness Richie before heading over to the main stage for the big show, which is definitely the one I'm looking forward to the most. Richie! 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 Oh my god. Show of the day, Cod. Yeah. This summer, who headlines you decide is back. It's time to place the main stage. Please welcome your host, Mr. Fox. Hello, Chessington. Your Wilder Fest Music Festival starts right here. Who headlines you decide 2022 has landed and we're celebrating its return with a massive lineup since dj sharky was crowned your winner last summer three of the hottest acts from the animal kingdom have been working hard on their performances your three finalists are lioness richie skunk 182 and snoop frog Adventurous, it's Lioness Richie! Oh, thank you everyone, and great dancing! What would it mean for you to win today? Oh, just everything, it would be a dream! You certainly brought funk, soul, and pop up onto the main stage. Remember, if Lioness Richie is your favourite, to stay and vote for her at the end of the show. But for now, let's hear it for Lioness Richie! when the voting lines open. But for now, let's hear it for Skunk 182. Party people, yes! Snoop Frog music comes straight at you. Dusty DC, the brain supreme. I'm a main man, Mr. Fox. We're kicking the flow, we're kicking. And it goes a little something like this. Snoop Frog back again. Check it, check it, let's begin. Honey, I'm better people, let me hear some noise. DC's in the house, jump, jump, rejoice. It's time to introduce the Carpometer. 
the voting lines are now open. Okay, everyone in the arena, it's all down to you. When I say your favorite act's name, I want you to clap, scream, shout, stamp your feet and wave your hands for your favorite. Are you ready? Oh, you can be louder than that. I said, are you ready? Are you voting for Snoop Bro? Skunk 182. Oh, Lion X Richie. And that's it. The clapometer school is counting and verifying each and every vote. I can now reveal that the winner is You must be thrilled. You've just won the People's Vote at Wheels Effect. What do you think of the main show? That was good. Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It is set up for the winner for Snoop Frog, in honesty, but still, it's brilliant. There's little snippets of it there for you. Um, you can watch back on the channel now. I'll have the full show on there, but it is worth watching. And if you're at Chesterton, don't miss it. Now, we've gone for a six scoop Ben and Jerry's today. Look at the bloody size of that. I'm going to have to start eating that or it's going to melt. So yeah, we've caught a lot of the little shows. We've seen all the main acts. There is a juggler on at one o'clock, which we want to go and check out down on the green. And yeah, what a great day here at Wilderfest. The sun is shining. The rides aren't too bad. The entertainment is absolutely fantastic. No complaints from us. adventure done we've managed to catch all the acts we want to catch here at Chesington and what a great event it is once again I know we go on about it quite a lot but Chesington events are definitely one you want to earmark on your calendar to come and experience and I'm telling you now it's events like this that make the park a two-day activity when you consider the amount of shows that are on and the amount of acts you've got to see watching the main stage show checking out animals and things plus rides on top it does make it a two-day event, 100% a two-day event. And much can be said very much for the Halloween event as well. But Wheel of Fist certainly feels a lot bigger than what the Mardi Gras did, even though there are a lot of mini stages for Mardi Gras. It feels like there's far, far more going on here than what there was for Mardi Gras. And I love Wheel of Fest. I'm so pleased that the park have brought it back for this year. If you're coming to Chesington over the summer, allow two days to do it. Stay in one of the amazing hotels. Stay locally. I'm sure they won't mind if you're coming in and enjoying the festivities of the World of Fest event. Plenty to look at, plenty of entertainment, lots of rides to go on. Honestly, it is definitely something you want to be doing. But, favourite act, Kurt? Snoop Frog. <laughs> favourite act? Huh? Favourite act? It's all about the Snoop Frog, isn't it? I prefer Skunk 182, to be honest with you. They prefer the Snoop Frog. I think Snoop Frog was given a little bit more airtime, in fairness. Very similar, though, to last year's winner and DJ Sharky, who is also making an appearance at the event. But 
from World of Fest in Chessington World of Adventures. Thank you for joining us here. Please remember if you want to see some pictures for the event or you want to see anything else, head over to chessingtonworld.co.uk. Our website is up and running and you'll be able to see all the event there. We'll see you next time.